As a woman, we make some mistakes with our men. Get your chair and your popcorn, sit down and enjoy this video because you'll be needing a popcorn for this one because I'm about to spill. Shyness. A lot of women are shy of, you know, flipping their clothes out of their body in front or in the presence of their husband. Like, hmm, I'm trying to remember the name of this movie. What do I give it? Seriously, you're married to your husband and then you're being shy to you know go naked in front of him please what is the color of your problem some of you when it's time for during the moment you put off the light make sure that it's dark before you'll be able to you know feel like doing anything with your husband like what is going on what is your problem how do i prescribe or deduce what you're suffering from why will you be shy in front of your husband some men do not even know the size of their husband they don't know if he's big small curved they don't know the only thing they do is to fill it with their hands and in darkness because you always like are you, a, are you an agent of darkness you just want to do it when the power is out i know that sometimes there can be some intimate moment whereby you feel like playing low music you know putting on the candle dimming the lights dimming the light you're not supposed to do it in pitch darkness if that is your vibe is that was if that is what you always do i think you're not confident in your skin yet and you're trying to you know use shyness to cover up but one thing is that you should love yourself because <laughs> if you don't nobody will the worst part is that some of you will even shout when their husbands are trying to you know dress up in front of them and then they mistakenly set sight it or sight their eyes on the husband's joystick and the wife might be like my dear please cover up cover up for what no tell me why will he cover up why are you shy I'm trying to make it make sense. No, 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 make it make sense. I want to understand. What do you mean by he should cover up? <laughs> You're trying to knock in the way that pleases the Lord. Okay, yes. Now I know the color of your problem. Religion. That's the color of your problem. Let me tell you something. You've been sleeping. You need to wake up. You need to praise his thing. Do you know that a man's joystick should be worshipped? And please do not come for me if you're coming from the angle of the Bible. Because I'm not telling you to pray to it. You need to understand my terms. And do not read my lips. Your husband's joystick is supposed to be worshipped. It's supposed to be praised. It makes them to feel good. It makes them to know that they know what they are doing. And they are pleasing you or making you happy. That is why you're not supposed to be mute when you're doing anything. They want to feel like a man. And I know that some people will tell me, hey, if he's not doing it right, why will I even be praising him? My dear, if your vibe is always when you're in an intimate moment with your hobby and you're trying to even close your mouth because you're trying to knock in the way that pleases the Lord, that is a problem for you. Not that they are not making you happy. If they're not making you happy, say it. Tell them you are a couple so tell them how to do it to make you happy if actually they are not making you happy so you're supposed to make them understand that they are doing something right they know how to do it or you tell them how to do it that they are making you happy it boosts their ego he's your husband so why are you being shy and one of the reasons why they keep going out there meeting slay queens that are not shy that are ready to praise their thing because <laughs> They are the one using your hand to scatter your marriage. Let me give you something. You need to be romantic. When you're shy, it will prevent you from being romantic around your man. In as much as men are men, they are always, you know, pompous and old. They don't want to show, show their, you know, baby side. They want to be babied. They want to be pampered. They want you to be naughty and razz around them. So not even just during the moment. On a normal, maybe the both of you are watching the telly in this living area. You can keep your head on his chest. You're just watching, seeing a movie. 
or maybe he's just reading newspaper by yourself just start touching him give him one of your twins or the two of them to feel touch him romance him there's time for this during the moment it's only during the moment after during the moment you go out of the room and the romance is gone are you in a business are you business partners maybe the business you have with each other is to just to procreate let's just do it in the way that pleases the, the lord and procreate and that is why we are here mm -mm, that's not why you're there there are a lot of things you can do when he's unaware you can use your leg and put inside his boxers like just do something out of the ordinary when he's not even watching you can spank his ass and run away and laugh they love it just play around make them feel like that thing or everything in you is my property so i can play with it whenever i want and however i want it makes them to feel that you you know your territory you know what you have when you own something you bought this with your money you can play music whenever you want, whatever type of music you want, whenever you want to play music. But if you borrowed it from someone, you'll be careful for you not to get it dirty. Because if you get it dirty, you must wash it. So when it comes to your husband, it's your husband. So just do some things. Praise it. Be naughty around it. Spank his ass. It's not only during the moment. Even outside the moment. Be free with yourself. Even if you're shy, he's your husband. Pretend that you're not shy. Come on.